Okay, upon doing my smoke test, I found when I fill this up with smoke, the only thing that was leaking after I changed these two lines, the smoke was coming out of my dipstick. Then I looked down and attached to the dipstick right near the top, there's a rubber hose, and this rubber hose is right here. I just disconnected it. So that's where all the smoke was coming from, out of that hose going into the dipstick. Now the other end of that hose goes along here and goes up to the bottom of that right there. To the bottom of here. Now there's something under here, some sort of valve or something, that's where it plugs in. I don't know how smoke is getting into this from this system over here, probably through a hose going in here. But I don't know where that goes because that goes to the valve cap. And maybe underneath the valve cap it goes connected to something else. Under the valve cover. So it's the only place I'm getting smoke is there. Just connect that rubber hose and now it's coming out of there. Disconnect these. Now it's coming out of there. Okay, it's weird. See, it doesn't come out of here at all. It's not coming out of here or there. And it's only coming out of there because it's going in through here. So this little vacuum line Yeah, that little vacuum line right here. Spitting out all of the air. Smoke. So smoke is coming through here somehow. Through the air system into there. Up to here, which I'm sure it's supposed to. And then that's why it's getting into there. Because it's going through the top, and through there, into that hose, and then through there, which is in turn sucking it from the fucking oil, which is, I guess the oil dipstick would then be my leak. As far as I'm concerned, I don't know, oil dipstick's leaking. That's where I'm getting smoke from. Or there's something in here, some sort of valve. There must be a valve or something. I'm gonna look into it. But that's where I trace the leak to be.